where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get it done. <laughs> All right. Good day, everyone. I am back to a spot I was at, I don't know, probably a month ago now. Somebody told me about, and uh, when I was here, there's, there's a bunch of stuff here. When I was here, I was digging around. And one thing that came out that caught my interest was an Indian head hydraulic brake fluid can. Now, it's a cone top can, but it wasn't in the best of condition, so. There's a lot of stuff here to dig through, so I'm hoping I can dig up another one. Boys, there's stuff all through the woods here. Uh, there could be a lot older stuff here, too. Huh. Anyways, I'll get you back up on once I get on site there and something decent comes out. Five minutes later. Look at this old lobster tin. Conley lobsters. I think that might say St. Andrews. Cooked lobster meat. Huh, can't quite make out enough. I'd keep that if the bottom wasn't gone out of it. That has the potential to be an interesting find. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, a couple more things here to show folks. Check these out. Finest old fashioned root beer. And look how they spelt finest. Maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong. I don't know, but look down around the base here, the heel. Horse and uh, carriage. There's another one there. Look for 49 cents. There's a caught cream soda. That might clean up okay. I don't know. Is that worth saving or not? And check this out. ACL dandruff remover bottle. That come out. Look at that. Look how nice that is. That's just like the day it was friggin' made. Both sides. I'm gonna keep that. That's what? 60, 70 years old? Probably 60 close to it that's a nice little find right there well this isn't the typical stuff that I normally dig in folks so you'll have to forgive me because I don't know too much about any of this stuff what's valuable and what isn't but if I see something I like then oh, there was a Nesbitt's bottle oh yeah I'll show you this here four star I think it's an oil. I think I'm going to keep that. That's in really good condition, actually. And I think that'll clean up nice. Yeah, I got an embossed Raleigh's there. It's just a screw top, though. There's another four star there. The Supreme or Superior oil can was kind of nice. But it's a little too gone for my likings. Let's do a little more digging here. See what comes out of there. Yeah, see, normally this stuff would be just a little too modern for me. And folks, I just pulled out an old lunch kettle out of this hole right here. Well, I didn't know it was a lunch kettle at the time. And I'll tell you, that would have been a friggin' year maker for me. <laughs> I just love it. Unfortunately, it's a little bit rusty. Check it out. Quite a bit rusty. Can you make it out? I don't think you can. I can see it with the naked eye, but... You might be able to see this guy over here. And then here's another guy here. See, he's wearing a mask. That's the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Riding their horses. And I think it says, Get Up, Scout. I don't know if that was the name of Tonto's horse or not. Wow, that would have been awesome, awesome, awesome. Frag. Just a little too gone, though, I think. 
All right, so I just got an embossed liquor bottle, and it is a William Whitley, nice corker. It's a federal law forbids bottle. Okay, and then right in here, I think I see a mason jar. Yep, a safety seal. Probably not real old, and it hasn't got any color to it. I probably won't be keeping that one, but still, there it is. I'll leave that there for somebody else. Well, folks, I just got a cool find. Check it out. It's a rum. Rum bottle. Shark's Tooth Rum. Still got the label on it. It's like a foil label. Rishabuktu, Rishabuktu, New Brunswick. Neato. I hope I can preserve that. Shark's Tooth Rum. Cool. I'll have to be careful with it. Oh, there's a big blue one right there. Surface here is all frozen. Well, folks, I think I'm getting into a bit of an older patch, like back to the 50s at least instead of the 60s. There's a little bowling pin. Got water in it. Um, nurser just come out. Yeah, there it is. All embossed on this side. Devoy Anti Colic Brand Nurser with something. Dual purpose nipple. Patent pending. Nice little nurser bottle. And I just scratched something else down in here. And now I see something else right over here too. Oh, look how fragile that was. Oh, shame. Where did that go? Right here. Oh, it's a snow globe, I think. That didn't help. Made in Hong Kong. Well, it's got a flamingo in it. I'm pretty sure that's glass, too. Cool beans. <laughs> First time I found a snow globe <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, geez, folks, I had to get going soon. I don't want to now. I think I'm getting into some better stuff. I just got a marble right down in there. If I can reach it without falling into all this glass. Let me get situated here. Just a white one. It almost looked like it had a bluish hue to it down in the hole. Maybe it does a little bit. Anyways, I'll have to get it cleaned up and we'll get a better look at it. Okay, I got. Hey, there's some neat stuff in here. Look at that old Alpine beer can. That's in fairly decent condition, too. I don't know what this here is. Chocolate flavored drink. Ready to drink. Huh. Middle shell. The blue ones in here are just everywhere. There's another one there. Oh, down the hole there, an old vintage Christmas bulb. The yellow one. Do they even still make those anymore? 
couple more finds here, folks. Check out this Ronsonol lighter fluid can, I believe it is. Yeah, lighter fuel. That's in very good condition, actually. So I'm going to take that, see if I can clean it up a little more. And here's this old tape measure. Broke, of course. Add two inches, it says. <laughs> For inside measurement. Hop, H-O-P-P-E. Made in Germany. It's heavy. But uh, unfortunately, not much good. Well, there's my bag of finds, folks. I think I got 30 cobalt blue bottles, so that was definitely worth 30 bucks. So that paid for the gas money. Anyways, oh, I gotta remember to take my jacket. <laughs> All right, over and out. Good day, fellow YouTubers. Thanks for joining me here for another bottle digging recap extravaganza. That's right, long time no see. Now, I'm gonna try to hurry this one along, folks, because my current video editor seems to have a problem processing videos longer than like 15 minutes, so I'm gonna have to hurry this one up. First off, we got Havana Club. Rum, good stuff. Not quite as good as the age seven year stuff, but it's still pretty tasty. And I've got one going here, and as you know, when that bell rings, I gotta take a drink. So, let's get into these finds. Okay, so first up, folks, I got these two uh, finest old-fashioned root beer tins. This one here, I did clean up in the, uh, the iron uh, oat solution. This one here, I didn't, and as you can see, you can see the difference there. Quite dramatic, actually, isn't it? And this root beer, I couldn't find anything online about it, but I believe that this here stands for First National Store. So they've taken the first two letters out of each word in the name and come up with uh, that little fancy catch where their finest First National Store. Neat little can. I don't know if I'll be keeping it, but six for 49 cents wow all right here's this bottle here the shark's tooth rum i glued these labels back on by the time i got home and got around to uh, doing the cleanup the uh, labels actually fell off them and this is what i'd call a local bottle it's from uh, rishabokto new brunswick and that's less than a three hour drive away so i mean i could literally you know drive there and do a couple hours digging drive back and be home in time for supper <laughs> no sweat check it out morgan's maritimes rum limited rich buck to new brunswick very nice i put this new cap on it and uh, that is a beauty i'm glad i got that actually very neat i didn't know there was a rum distillery in rich buck now i do next up we got the uh, william Whitley Federal Law Forbids Bottle, and that is a whiskey bottle. It's a nice corker. House of Lords, it says up here. And the Federal Law Forbids Bottles, folks, that are embossed up around the shoulder here. If you find one like that, it's dated between 1935 and December 1st, 1964. That's when they had those, that uh, message on there. Okay. Okay, so moving right along, I think we're about three minutes deep in here now, folks. We got the uh, Deval Nurser here, baby nurser. Anti colic. Brand nurser, there you go. And I guess that's a good time to uh, do a little uh, congratulations to my good Mexican friend. That's right, Mexican friend. He is a firefighter at the local fire station, and him and his wife just had twin baby boys. So congratulations about that. And uh, they named them Jose and Hose B. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, all right, next up, folks. 
Uh, this Resdan dandruff remover shampoo and conditioner here. The lid's got a little bit of discolor into it. <laughs> well, that is in uh, super condition. Uh, yes. And then we got this weird looking thing here. Looks like a snow globe. It's got a flamingo in it. And uh, what did that say? Yeah, made in Hong Kong. There you go. Made in Hong Kong. Bases kind of falling off of there so there's that kind of neat I don't know if I'll be keeping it but this seven up bottle come out of there it's in fairly good condition but uh, once again maybe not something I'll be keeping I don't know then we got the uh, Ront Sonal lighter fluid and I tried cleaning this one up in the solution it just I mean that side there is pretty good it's got this big hole down in it there but um, like I say, it's not something I'm going to be keeping. If it was in better condition, yes. But, uh, I mean, it's literally falling apart in my hands here. Look. And then finally, folks, we got... There was all kinds of cobalt blue ones, but these three in particular I like. And they are a Milk of Mag tablets bottle. Because one of them had the lid still on it. But it was legible, but it wasn't worth saving. So, three of those nice little bottles. Alright, folks, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Tune in to the next one. And we'll see you all there. Have a great day, everybody. Over and out. Where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Get her done! <laughs>